Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We're in the kitchen again tonight and tonight we're going to make a cinnamon raisin bagel. These are one of my father's favorites so I'm making them for him because they're great for him to take to work and frankly they're just delicious. So let's get started. This is a very simple recipe, one that you can just whip up anytime as long as you're willing to boil the bagels because if you don't boil them it's not really a bagel. So ingredients. You're going to need one cup of water, lukewarm is good, cool is okay, don't go hot. You're going to need two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of butter, you can use margarine but it tastes better with butter, one teaspoon of salt, that was just a table salt, any salt you have on hand is good enough. You're going to need three cups of all-purpose or bread flour. Whatever you normally use to make bread is what you want to use. You would like a teaspoon of cinnamon without cinnamon. It's not a cinnamon raisin bagel. One heaping teaspoon of yeast. I'm using bread machine yeast because I'm using my bread machine to make the dough today. You obviously can't bake a bagel in your bread machine, but you can use it to mix knead and rise your dough, at least for the first rise. Uh, you can also use your mixer or you can do it by hand, whatever you like. Just adjust the type of yeast you're using accordingly. Now I also have one cup of raisins here. Now I'm going to pop this in my bread maker and I'm going to add the one cup of raisins after about 10 minutes because my bread maker does not add the fruit and nuts automatically on the dough cycle, so I'm going to do it manually. So fruit and nuts should be added after your dough is already mixed and while you're in the kneading process because kneading is a little bit gentler. So add these part way through, but you do need to remember to add your raisins because if you don't add your raisins, it's just a cinnamon bagel. So we will come back when our dough is ready to form into bagels. That's after it's kneaded and it's done its first rise, which will all happen in my bread maker. So we'll come back and I'll show you what to do. All right, so now we have our dough. It's a nice dough. We like this dough. It'll be a little bit stickier than some of the doughs you may have worked with in the past. That's because raisins are naturally sticky and they are in this dough. So because we have chunks in here, just like with the chocolate chip muffins, uh, not muffins, bagels, I am going to shape them by hand instead of using a cutter. And I am going to do eight bagel, uh, bagels. Yes, I'm making bagels, aren't I? I should try to remember what we're making. So first I'm going to divide it into four, and then I'm going to divide each of those four into two, because that gives us eight. Okay. What you want to do is just kind of make a ball. This is a sticky dough. Okay, so divide it into however many you like. Now if you want more bagels, obviously you can cut it into more pieces. They'll just be smaller which is really no big deal. So you make however many balls you like, that's how many bagels you'll end up with. Okay? So I'm doing eight. Now, while you're doing this, you might want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Because that is the ideal temperature to bake these at. And that should take a few minutes to preheat, so we'll be able to complete all our bagel shaping and our bagel boiling while we wait. So, okay, now I have eight balls. Eight balls of dough. So I'm only going to shape a couple on camera and then I'll shape the rest and come back. So what you want to do, you take your little ball of dough, okay, push your thumb through the center and just make a hole. Make the hole bigger than you think you want because these do contract. Okay, so just kind of muck with it, lay it on your tray. And then you just grab another one and repeat the same thing eight times. Okay, just like that. And remember, this is a stickier dough, that's okay. Okay, there we are. All right, I am going to finish shaping these bagels and then we'll come back and we'll boil them. So. While you're shaping these, 
You're going to want to be careful to make sure your raisins kind of stay in the uh, dough. And you're going to want to put them aside while you're waiting for the water to boil. So set them aside so they can rise a little bit. You don't want them to rise too much. So you take, you shape your bagels, put some water on to boil, and while you're waiting for it to boil, you just don't touch the bagels. Just don't touch them because they don't need to be touched. Let them kind of puff up a little bit. They won't puff up a ton in that amount of time, but a little bit's better than not at all. Okay, they'll finish puffing up in the boiling water and then they'll finish further when they're baking. Okay, so just because they're not getting a full rise cycle doesn't mean they won't get nice and puffy. Okay, here we go. There we go. So we're just gonna let these sit while we boil our water. How big a pot? Medium size, um, I like to boil one or two bagels at a time. So a pot that's big enough to hold um, at least one or two bagels. So whatever size pot you have, it doesn't really matter that much. The bigger the pot, the more you can boil at once, but ultimately it actually doesn't matter. So stick a pot on the stove to boil. While you're waiting for that to boil, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and let these guys sit a few minutes. We'll be back when our water's boiling. All right, so our water is boiling and our oven is preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. What you're gonna wanna do is get yourself some honey, squeeze about two tablespoons into your boiling water. You want a slotted spoon or some other way to get the bagels in and out without carrying a bunch of water with them. And mix that honey in. Okay, then you're going to take your bagels, one or two at a time, drop them in the water. Okay, you're going to boil them for 30 seconds to a minute per side. And you can add a second one as soon as that one has solidified. Or really add however many fit in your particular um, pot. Now, bear in mind that there are raisins and cinnamon in this dough. So your water's gonna turn a funny color. That's normal, that's seriously normal, okay? So flip sides. So just 30 seconds to a minute. The longer you boil, the chewier your uh, bagel will be. But the, de the other thing is if you boil them too long, they'll be too chewy. So what you want to do is 30 seconds to a minute per side. No more than two minutes total. I like it closer to a minute. But you can experiment with uh, boil times and see what works best for you. And then you just do that. I have eight bagels to go. Uh, you may have more or less depending on how big you wanted your bagels. So just keep going until you have boiled all your bagels. After you've boiled them, you're going to want to stick them in the oven. We're not putting any egg washes or anything on these. So you're going to want to put them in the oven and you're going to bake them for 20 to 25 minutes or until they're as dark as you like. They will be cooked after 20 minutes, but you can let them go to 25 minutes if you prefer, just because some people like their bagels a little bit darker and that's totally fine. So 20 to 25 minutes. I'm not going to make you watch me boil the other four bagels after this. So remember, boil your bagels, both sides. Okay, make sure you get both sides equally wet. Then you're going to bake them in the oven 20 to 25 minutes, 375 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll be back as soon as they're baked. And there you have it. Perfect, delicious, sweet cinnamon raisin bagels. These make a great breakfast or really anytime you're just a little peckish. That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. I do hope you try these at home. They're a lot of fun to make and they're quite the crowd pleaser. We'll see you tomorrow.